Hey, Bob. Okay, so I've got your um, 6139 here. Um, it's it's certainly original. It's certainly unrestored, and it's got a tiny problem, but not a major one. You may note that there's a screw missing right here. The screw is right here. It's right here, jammed up against the balance. <gasps> there it is. There's your screw. Let's put that back here. How about that? Let's put that back there. Let's put that. Come on, would you stop fighting me? Let's get this. Ugh, it's magnetized. Whew. Let me demagnetize that. Let's let's try that again. Let's try that again. Let's put this thing in here. Let's get that where it can't do any damage. Okay, so hang on just one second. No, I'm trying to do all this stuff. Anyway, the, the the watch generally looks good. I want to put the screw in here, so I don't see any other missing screws. Okay, so there's that. Let's power it up. And there she blows. Uh, your mainspring feels a little stiff. That's to be expected. Uh, what are we doing here? Let's go in. Let's see what the numbers tell us. How about that? Let's see what the numbers say. Oops. Okay, here we go. She's running. No beat error. Hey, those aren't bad numbers. Mainspring definitely feels gluey. It's a little choppy. I expect that number to drop. Not bad. It's a little choppy, it's a little messy, but it's not bad overall. Pallet fork is noisy. See that? See all that choppy mess? Okay, let's talk cosmetics. Uh, the movement looks hazy. It's not bad. The seals are ancient. The watch is dusty. Let's look at your mainspring. <sighs> why doesn't why doesn't somebody stop me? Another one of your screws has come out. I'm amazed it ran at all. Boy, I'm just asleep with the switch today. There's that. Is that even the right screw for that? An old mechanic once said to me a long time ago, vibration is the devil's crescent wrench. And that's the thing, you get enough movement over time and things are gonna pop out. So let's, let's close this up. Let's close this up and let's talk cosmetics. Let's talk cosmetics. The dial is beautiful. Uh, it's this old seal. This old stupid seal. Come on. Stop fighting me. This is a silly video. Um, let's check this time. Okay, we were doing, we were pushing the day date turnover too. But look at the white loom. Hmm? Look at the white loom. Look at the beautiful dial surface. Here. Indicator ring. After our cleanup, this will be really nice. I just want to see what it's saying now after we push that off there. See what we got for numbers. Definitely a little cleaner, not gaining as much time. Um, yeah, 177. But anyway, I think all the things that matter are here. It's a nice watch. You said that it was the crystal was replaced in the 70s, the one that was ill fitting. This is a stock Seiko crystal, so I'm not following you there. It definitely should be replaced. It's all scratched up, but that's a stock Seiko crystal. But we get this cleaned up for you. It'll be a pip. That'll be a nice watch. That'll be a nice piece. I don't think it really needs much more beyond service, case rebuild with seals and a crystal. And some tight screws, of course. All right. Rock on. Yep, everything's all there. Roman English day wheel. Okay, cool. All right, let me know if you have any questions.